Welcome back to the Nerd Shelves. I'm Judy, and I'm Michael. We're gonna talk about top five today. Another top five. So the top five we're gonna talk about today is the games we play the most up to now, the halfway of 2021. Yes, we are. Well, at the time of filming this video, we are exactly halfway through 2021. Yes. Exactly. Six months in. <laughs> so we are going to see our top yes. five most played games, and then we can compare that at the yeah. end of the year and see if anything changed. Yes. Exciting. Yeah. Let's get to it. So the interesting thing about 2021, or the mm -hmm. first six months of 2021, is that yeah. we've actually played so many different games. Mm -hmm. We haven't played a lot of games many times, but mm -hmm. we have played, I think we played 58 or 59 different games so far in the first six months. Yeah. We, quite it's, a bit. It's, yeah, quite amazing because we actually need to find time to play it. We don't have a lot of time, but yeah, yeah it's hard because, you know, we have to, we're doing reviews and things like that. So we have mm -hmm. to play a lot of different games, but there are a few mm -hmm. that we've played more than other ones because these are the ones that we really enjoy playing. Yeah. So we're going to start with number five. Okay. All right. What's number five? So this might be a little bit unfair because we get a chance to get to it before everyone else. That's true. We yep. got a copy before it was available. We were very lucky, very fortunate. This one is... Brew! Brew! Brew is dice drafting mm -hmm. and it's a very fun game. Yeah. I like it. Absolutely. Oh, so fun. It, I know why you like it. Because it's mean. <laughs> well, dear lot of, well, it's dice. Yes. To start. Yes. I really like dice drafting. True. Before I'll be like, oh, draft a stories and you know. Mm -hmm. But this one is very different because yeah. you get to release the animal too. Yeah, you get to release oh, the creatures. The creatures. The creatures, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's this game, it's yeah, there's there's dice that you can use to forage and there's yeah. element dice and you you go into the mystical forests and you're training different creatures who mm -hmm. can help you. But so many to do. There's lots to do, but it can be super yeah. mean. There is a lot of take that in this game. I have to say the first time I didn't quite gra grasp, uh, grasp it though. Yeah. The second time I play, I like it even more. Mm, absolutely. And then I say, mm, okay, let's play one more. <laughs> and again. And again. again. And again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's so true. I 100% agree with you. The first time we were just going through the motions, figuring out mm -hmm. what the different actions do. Yes. By the second time we played it, we realized, oh, you there's really, more. there's a lot more and you can really only win by hurting the other player. <laughs> Not quite, but you know, you know. <laughs> really me. I'm good. Yeah. And there's potions. I mean, that's why it's called brew because you can brew potions mm -hmm. with different elements and things like that. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fun. It's very fun. Yeah. It's worth, it's worth to put at the table. It's so good. It is fun. And the other thing about it. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. It's so cute. All the little creatures and, and the mm -hmm. forest and just everything. It looks so cute on the table. It's very pretty. That's very for pretty. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So that's from Pandasaurus Games, and yes. they did a fantastic job. Fantastic. That is... Brew. Brew. Yeah. All right. All right. So now we're going to move on to, to number four. Okay, number four. This surprised me that we played this more than other games. Yes, but your phone tells the truth. So. My phone tells the <laughs> truth. Where uh, BG Stats tells the truth. Yes. And I think it's because we played it a lot at the beginning of the year. And mm -hmm. we haven't played it in a couple months. Yes. But that is... Oh, it's a big box. Right. Right. Tapestry. Tapestry! Yeah, that's a big box. Um, yeah, it's a civilization game. Mm. Well... It's sort of a civilization game. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people going into this that expect a, a full-on Civ game mm -hmm. are disappointed. It's mm -hmm. not fully Civ, but mm -hmm. it's got the civilization element to it. It's, yes. But it's a it's beautiful. It's huge on the table. Yes. It comes with all of these um, little miniatures mm -hmm. of the different buildings and stuff. Buildings, it's for sure. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous production value. Mm -hmm. Such a great game. Yeah. This game, I have to say, the first... I want to say two times. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. I, I'm, you know, I just start, right? Yeah. Playing games. So this is not something I can just grab it right away. Mm -hmm. So the first two times I went, oh, okay. I think I did it wrong at the last time. You know, this is the kind of game that when you go to bed, you're just thinking about, why do you do that? 
Why do you do this move when when you play? But is that does that not make a good game? It does. Right? If, if I totally understand Absolutely. what you're saying. If you finish playing it and then you are lying awake at night thinking, hmm, Maybe I should try this or maybe I should try that. Yes. That's a great game in my opinion. Yes, absolutely. And I do try different strategies as yep. a second and a third play. Yeah. And so on. <laughs> and so Every on. Time. And so on. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I love yep. it though. That that's that was my point I was going to make. The reason why I like Tapestry, and maybe this will change when mm -hmm. we play it even more, but I always feel like there's a different strategy I can try. Yes. I still I, I keep trying to do this, but I haven't I want to <laughs> try the science track. Yes. And I have never tried the science track. Yet. I know. So basically there are different tracks. There's four different tracks you can mm -hmm. take along the outside of the board. And mm -hmm. there's science and technology and exploration. And exploration. Military. And military. Yep. And basically you're building your civilization through those tracks. Mm -hmm. You're doing a little bit on everything, but you really wanna to to double down on one of those tracks. Yes. Um, I always say I want to try the science track, and I never have. Me neither. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> so again, it's one of those games where, exactly like you said, mm -hmm. I keep thinking about it. And I want yes. to play it again. But there's yeah. there's all this these this meta game. There's different games. There's games within the game, and there's the little grid on the side where you're placing buildings yeah. and yeah, super fun. So many things going on. So many things going you on. You gotta play more often. It I, I've heard a lot of people like giving up, like, okay, this is not really that fun. But you know what? This will be the game that you need to try more. Yeah, I agree. Because then you will get it, and then you will change your strategy, yep. you know, give it a couple of chance. Yeah. In fact, this was on our top five games that need a second play yes. list. So, yeah, that that's <laughs> yes. that's definitely true of this. And the, the one thing, the one negative that I will say about this game is mm -hmm. that I had, and I'm not the only one, mm -hmm. I had a really hard time with the rule book. Oh, okay. Um, I think they tried to condense the rule book as small as possible, but then they left out quite a bit. And I spent a lot of time on BGG trying to to figure out what to do in certain situations. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, mm -hmm. great game. Yes. Fantastic. Game. I agree. Yeah. So that was number four, our fourth most played game of the first six months. It's very heavy, huh? Top <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a heavy game. All right. Now it goes down to number Three. All right, number, number three. Oh, another big box. It is <laughs> the Isle of Cats. Ooh, what a great game! What a great game! Yeah. How cute! How cute! <laughs> yeah. So Isle of Cats is tile lane. It's like Tetris, and you're going to yeah, island. Tetris style. Yep. Yeah, you're going to rescue cats on the island. Um. Try not to scare them away. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. This game, I have to say, one of the character is in our video of my top, you know, favorite characters. Mm -hmm. It's that bushy tail. He's so cute. The bushy, the purple, purple, right? Blue. Oh, the blue cat. Sorry. Yes. Yes. yes Many yes. people might think, oh, it must be old Shax. No. I love the name, but my favorite is bushy. -tailed. The big bushy tail cat. It's yeah. so cute. Yeah. But yeah, this game is very awesome. It's got the boat and it's got different rooms and you have to fulfill complete that and then get the score mm -hmm. and you know do the um what what is it called lesson lesson cards lesson cards, cards which are basically like end game bonus cards yes. but they're called lessons yeah and there's so many so you get the chance to explore different ones yeah. and utilize them in the game it's so fun it's you know what this game would be good mm -hmm. if it wasn't for those um the blue lesson cards mm -hmm. that the, those lesson cards make it great yes. because uh, if those lesson cards weren't in the game, it would just kind of be the same strategy every time. Yeah. But those blue ones, oh, my they goodness. make you change your strategy. Because yes. So here's an example. Mm -hmm. You're filling all of the cats, which are Tetris tiles, onto your boat. And your boat basically has squares and you're filling it like a Tetris board. Mm -hmm. On that ship, on your boat, are rats. Mm -hmm. And any rats you have available at the end of the... Or that are still showing at the end of the game are minus points. Mm -hmm. But there are some blue cards that say you get extra points for having them yep. available. So all of a sudden your strategy changes. Yeah, you turn your minus to a plus. You change your minus to you a plus. You want the rats. Right? <laughs> or the main objective of the game is to fill mm -hmm. different rooms. Mm -hmm. Rooms that aren't filled are minus points. Yeah. But some of those blue cards are get all of your cats around the outside edge. So yep. it just changes everything. And yes. I think that's 
super smart. That is very cool. Yeah, yeah. Very I like cool. games like that. They, yeah. they, the rule is like this, but if you do that, yeah, that's exactly. Really awesome. Yeah, and I don't know what your. I can't figure out sometimes why. Why would Judy do that? She must have a card that gives her <laughs> points, right? This is actually another one though that's grown on me. Oh really? Yeah, this is one where when I first played it, I was like, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll play it if you want to play it, but I'll probably never ask to play it. Then we played it a second time, and I was like, hmm, this is pretty good. And then yeah. by the third time, I was like, okay, I can see it now. Yeah. As you can see, I keep asking to play it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I Great like game. it very much. <laughs> I've never played the solo, mm -hmm. and I want to try it. Yes. Um, yes, there is also family mode and oh, solo Oh, mode. Yes. yes, family so mode too. for like children, they can, you know, they can team up and play together. That's great. It's very good. Yeah, absolutely. Great game. <laughs> And that's number three. Yes, number three. <laughs> that's right. Now we come down to number two. The second most game we've played in the first six months is... Lost Ruins of Arnak. Yeah, it's very Indiana Jones. I know, everyone keeps saying that and we keep saying that because it is... Very. It's very You're Indiana taking adventure. <laughs> That's right. I mean, even the meeples look like Indiana Jones. I know. We just try not to call it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, now, this is a game, and I've said it every time we talk about this game, I've said this, and I'm going to say it again. Mm -hmm. This may not be the best game I've ever played, mm -hmm. but it's one of the funnest. Yes. I can't explain why. It's not the most complex game. It's not the most strategy-driven game. It's... It, I can't explain why I think it's one of my favorite games. It's just fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fun. Yeah. It's almost like you go to a theater to watch a film, and it's based on the story that you already heard of so many times when you were a kid. Probably. It's very similar to Indiana Jones. It which feels a, so much like it. Right? Yeah. So you kind of drawn right yeah. into it already. Exactly. So basically, Lost Runes of Arnak is a deck builder. Mm-hmm and you're building your deck, as in most deck builders, but that's not really the main component or the main mechanic of the game. I mean, mm -hmm. on your cards, you can either play it to do an action or there's movement, which allows you to explore further into the jungle. Research, yeah. Yeah, and, but the, the two main parts of the board are the exploration into the jungle, mm -hmm. where you dig sites and then you open up new locations, but the then guardians. the guardians come out, which are Ooh. these like crazy monsters that you can, <laughs> you can, Overcome. Overcome them, and then they become your friends mm -hmm. by paying the right resources, and then that. they're on your side for victory points. But the other mm -hmm. side of the board is the research track, where when you get to the top, mm -hmm. you've finally discovered Lost Ruins of Arnak, and that's where you get the most of your points. Yeah. I, I'm not very good at that part. But no, it's hard. You have but to. But it's cool. It's fun, right? Yeah. It's fun, and you've got you, you can travel by boot, by jeep, by boat, or yes. by airplane, mm -hmm. and you can go further into the jungle. And it's just the 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 artifacts and all of the components like the little scrolls and the, the staff it just everything it's so cool beautiful great production quality it looks amazing on the table yes i love this game me too i love this game that's why it's top two <laughs> yeah absolutely I it's just love fun it. and it's relaxing when you play even though you're going on adventure but yep. you don't feel stressed you're like okay i'm actually enjoying it totally i think you know what i think that's it i think you mm -hmm. just hit the nail on the head there it's got enough strategy that mm -hmm. you're enjoying it, yeah. but it's not overthinky mm -hmm. where you can actually sit and enjoy the experience of yeah. feeling like Indiana Jones. And for me, I love it. Yeah, I know. I love it so yeah. much too. Yeah. Perfect. So that is number two. Yeah, number two. Okay. All right. We are going down to number one. Our most played game oh. in the first six months of 2021 is... Oh. Honey Boss! Surprise, surprise. <laughs> well, we do love this game yeah. a lot. Um, yeah. Speaking of great components. Yeah, so I want to say this is a worker placement. Yeah. People, sure. Some yeah. people might not agree with me, but... It's partial worker placement. I see placement. it as people... Worker placement, <laughs> get it? Wink. Beeple, using your beeples. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they're bees. <laughs> Love it. So you send them out, and then they, they um, went on to forage the, the honey, and then you try to put the 
the, the hive, hive tiles. tiles to form into the shape to get the honey, and then you go to market yeah. to get the honey. It is wow. Yeah, it has so many elements I love in games. So I it has it. the worker, the the beeple, beeple. placement. <laughs> sorry, where you go, and that's how you collect your hive tiles. Yeah, and then you have that puzzly aspect of. How do I place my hive tiles so that they create a cell? I love that part. And every action mm -hmm. icon that's on that open cell are the actions you get. You don't get your actions when you mm -hmm. put your beeples down. Not yet. You yeah. only get the actions once you've completed your cells in your own hive. And then you see the, the um, graphic around the, the tile and yeah. then do those actions. And then do those actions. Yeah. And sometimes you get three or four actions at a time. Mm -hmm. But And then you collect honey by getting those actions. Yeah. But the thing that I love in games is I love an economic style market where when you buy a certain type of honey, yeah. the value drops. Yeah. So now you go get it, it's less value. It's less. It's like a supply and demand. It's mm -hmm. the more you buy, the cheaper it gets yes. or the, the less you get for mm -hmm. it. And I, I think because I'm looking over at Judy's and saying, oh my gosh, she has Competing, like... Competing, eh? Yeah. She has like three of the brown honeys. Yes. Is she keeping those for contracts to fill or is she going to sell them the market? And I'll just race there and try to get it first. And yes, yeah, super But fun. he might be racing for nothing because I might be just focusing on the Queen's Quest. The Queen's Quest, those little yes. contracts. Exactly. So you'll be working all that and I'm just like, okay. Okay, I got the Queen's Quest. Yeah. It's a good time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Super it's fun. very fun. And the... Um, quality of the component in the game mm. is beautiful. Be beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, the honey is, they're like little rubbery yes. bits and the tiles are gorgeous and it just looks beautiful on the table. Picture is very good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so good. So that so good. is our number one. No surprise there, I don't think. I don't think either. No. Yeah, Absolutely we played this a lot. Yeah. There you go. So those are the five games we've played the most mm -hmm. so far mm -hmm. in 2021 for yes. the first six months. The and first half. The first half. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the year, we're going to create another video with the whole year and see if these are still in there. Maybe we've played more. Yes. Who I don't knows? think any of those games show up in our 2020 most played game. I don't think. No, they don't. <laughs> Completely different. There's not one of those games that was yes. in our 2020 most played. Yeah. Which is pretty so we'll, interesting. We'll but figure it out later. If you want, right? We'll figure it out. Yep. Yeah, the end of the year. That's right. But if you want to see that 2020 video, I'm going to leave a link below and I'm going to leave... A <laughs> Either there or there. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link below with all the videos of all the games that we've mentioned here today. Yeah! So there you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and mm -hmm. the notification bell. To know when we post more of the videos. That's right. Now, go ahead and get another <laughs> game off of your nerd shelves. Take care. Bye.